Hi friends, I am starting a new cucumber garden using a cutting from the existing plant. I have this uh, isni cucumber plant growing in this Aero Garden Harvest Hydroponic System. In fact, this plant is also started from a cutting. Now I am going to start another garden using a cutting from this plant. So as I am picking the cutting from this plant, I just want to share how I pick it and some tips to have a guaranteed success with the cutting. So if you look at this plant, so this is start this one started from a cutting and it doesn't have any side branches. So I think there is a small side branch here, but it is pretty small. So it doesn't have really any good side branches, but uh, this is the main branch that is growing, uh, literally outgrowing the lights. So if I leave it, it will keep on growing. That will in fact degrade the development of actual cucumbers. You can see here there are a bunch of uh, baby cucumbers. If the plant continue to grow, it will keep on distributing the energy. So that's kind of a waste of energy and uh, definitely impacts the productivity. So we should really control the growth of the plant. So as this main branch is almost like a three feet or maybe four feet, it's time to stop the growth of this vine. So the way we can stop the growth of this uh, main vine is by cutting the tops. But instead of simply cutting and wasting the top, I will go little down and use the cutting to start a new garden. So the root system will only develop at the nodes. We can see here, this is a long branch. I see one node here and one node here. The roots will never ever develop between these two nodes. But the roots will only develop at the nodes like either here or here or here or here or here. So to start the cutting, we need about three to four inches of cutting. If I go here, this is going to be pretty small. So I'm going to cut right below this node, remove the leaf and the baby cucumber coming here. And I will make sure this node part is completely soaking in the water so that the roots will start developing from here. I can even go here. This one is also good enough. So I can cut right below this node and let the roots develop from here. And this is about two inches. That is also good enough. But um, anyway, uh, it's pretty long and uh, it already has uh, so many baby cucumbers. So this is what actually I follow. If I see like uh, five, six baby cucumbers on the branch, on any branch, we should really stop the growth of this vine after that. But we also need some new leaves for the photo photosynthesis and that will help the development of the uh, cucumbers. Because of that, I can actually cut all the way here, but uh, uh, I just want to give, a, give this vine to grow the leaves so that they will absorb the light and uh, that will help the development of uh, cucumbers. That's why I'll try to uh, leave enough, uh, enough nodes, uh, meaning enough leaves, and then cut almost close to the uh, end of the vine. So if I don't have any plans to start a new garden, new cucumber plant, I can just uh, cut the tips here exactly at this uh, tip. But uh, since I'm planning to start another garden, I'm going a little bit below and uh, cut right here so that it will have uh, enough leaves. So these are actually new leaves. So um, they have a lot of life and uh, they can continue to develop, absorb the light and uh, that will help the growth of the cucumber. All right, so now I'm going to cut right here. We can use a scissor or a sharp knife. So hopefully this knife is going to work. So I am cutting right below the node. Here it is. This is a, a nice cutting. So just remove the leaf as well as the branches, basically any development from here and make sure this whole node is sinking very well in the water. So the roots will start showing up from this node just within a week. All right, those are my quick tips to collect the cucumber branch and start the new generation from this cutting. Thanks for watching and happy hydroponics growing.